Week 11, Montana at Northern Arizona. Just got Coach Houck today. Uh, Coach, uh, we'll just finish recapping a, a good win for the guys, the Grizzlies down at Northern Colorado, and your initial thoughts looking at the film heading down to Northern Arizona. Yeah. Um, good win for us last weekend. Uh, we were down a ton of guys, and uh, lots of guys were far from 100%, and they just went out there and got the win. So good job by our guys. I was impressed with uh, their ability to do that. Uh, our defense got their second shutout of the year. Uh, that was a, a great defensive effort as well. I thought that uh, we played pretty well in all three phases. So on to NAU. They're a good team. Um, they beat U of A in Tucson. They beat Idaho at Idaho. Uh, those were kind of eye-opening wins when I look back at it, clicked through it yesterday a little bit. Uh, it's been an interesting year for them. Uh, I'm sure that Coach Ball would say the same thing. But they're well coached in all three phases. They're going to play hard. It's what they do. They look uh, very athletic to me, including the offensive line. So should be a good game. Questions? Beautiful. Coach, just first things first, uh, I don't know if you've heard, but there's some momentum going for college game day to come to Missoula. And I know obviously you're focused on NAU this week, but I guess just, do you have any thoughts on that? I think it'd be great for uh, for the University of Montana and great for Missoula. So that'd be, that'd be awesome. Bobby, just after looking at the film, just kind of your thoughts on the O-line, you know, some of those young guys stepping up, Brandon Casey, obviously at right tackle. Just what did you like and uh, what they did and what did you see them do well on uh, Saturday? Um, yeah, having, having to plug in new people in new positions, was it's always difficult, but that's kind of what we've been doing at a lot of positions, and I, I thought those guys did a nice job, um, you know, starting a true fresher. Redshirt freshman at right tackle, and and he's going to be match up on the guy that I thought was probably their best player. A lot of the game, I thought he held up pretty well. Brandon, that is. Um, so yeah, I, I thought it was a good effort. You mentioned just on Saturday you wanted to rewatch the film before deciding whether it was the most complete game you guys played this year or not. Just so after looking at it, did you feel like that was the case there? Just the most complete game of the year for you guys? Uh, I don't know how to compare it to other games, but I thought it was a it was a good game in all three phases for us for sure. Is there one offensive line position that's harder to fill in for, or is it one spot where it's harder to have an injury at than the other ones? Uh, I think center probably because he's you know he's got he's got to snap the ball first of all, and they're doing a lot of directing of traffic in there, so pro probably center. Speaking of, it looked like Moses was mostly playing center, so I mean how. Difficult is that because since he's played mostly guard during his career here. Uh, well, it's not easy. Uh, it's not. It's certainly not easy. But what are you gonna do, right? So you go play him, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it works out. And it, he did a good job Saturday for sure. You guys have put a high priority on stopping the run this year, but that seemed like a key factor again. So how have you gotten that level of performance week in and week out against the run defensively? Uh, well, a couple of things. I think you can go to fundamentals. I think we tackle well. And then uh, the structure of our defense, we can um, dial it up different ways week to week on, on what's best against certain run game. And then uh, our guys do a good job getting off blocks. The other, another guy who got thrust in there as a freshman with Alfred going down, obviously him and Governor were kind of rotating at that nose tackle position. What's it like then when you got to go three to four deep at the at the nose tackle position, the, the physical one with with young guys? Well, anytime you're going that far into your depth, it's it's not going to be as good uh, unless you're Alabama or something. I don't know if they can go three or four deep, but I don't know anybody else that can. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm proud of our guys because when they're banged up, they fight, go out there and fight their way back on the field, make plays. And if they can't go, the next guy has, has done a good job of trying to step up. So um, we'll just keep doing it. Hopefully we can hold up. I guess, like, what's the dynamic been as far as communication between either you and the players or the players and their position coaches about availability and when 
you know, maybe to power through it or not play that week? And have you had more of those conversations this year than maybe you can remember? Well, that's all determined by our medical people. Who stands out for NAU for you? For NAU, um, I said uh, they're athletic uh, across the board. Um, I think the the running back is the guy that jumped off the film to me in the initial yesterday when I started watching it. He's a he's a big physical kid. He's got a lot of yards, 850 <laughs> yards or something, I think. And uh, yeah, he's he's a guy that really jumps off the film to me. Defensively, you guys are flying all over, especially the secondary. Have you been on a defense where you've seen like a guy getting seven interceptions in a row? Yeah, I don't. I don't recall seven interceptions in seven games. I mean, the ball's finding him at this point rather than him finding the ball. But um, you know, the defense is doing a good job. They're playing hard. Uh, you know, we're we're. We're banged up there, too, and the guys that are in there are executing at a high level. Just to piggyback off that, how you can tell, like, the guys get really excited about, like, when something big happens. Do you feel like this is just feeding week to week to week? Well, my initial response to that would be they better. It's college football, right? They should. Uh, football's an emotional game. I think uh, defense has certainly got to be played with fire and passion, and our guys have it. I want to ask you about a couple of the Missoula guys on your roster. It seems like Tyler Flink, David Copang are both playing really well on special teams right now. Would you Would you agree? Yeah. Um, Tyler uh, and Levi John, Janicaro are, you know, two big sky guys that are having a major impact in our kicking game. And then uh, – uh, David Copang and Ryan Tyrrell, two Loyola guys, are having a, a major impact in the kicking game. So it's kind of fun to see that, isn't it? You like that element? I mean, because it seems like no matter what level of, you know, quote unquote, stardom these guys have or whatever, they have a ton of following, right? For, as local guys. So, I mean, do you like having local guys on your squad? Well, yeah, I, I love having local guys on our team for sure. I mean, I think that's probably apparent historically and currently. But what I like having on our team is guys that make plays. So wherever they're from, they're Montana Grizzlies, and they got to make plays. When you look at kind of NAU's season, and like you mentioned, the win over Arizona, the win over Idaho, lost to Northern Colorado, just what is about their season that's kind of been up and down? Did you notice any trend there? Um, I'd, I'd just say up and down. I mean, that's, that's a better question for Coach Ball. I mean, I'm watching the film and watching their X's and O's. Um, I, I can I can see the scores just like you guys can, Kyle. That's that's big picture. That's my assessment. I mean, I I look at it like you guys do. I'm I'm watching their scheme. Do you notice something like something that works against Arizona that kind of stood out that maybe worked for them that like any trends that you saw maybe offensively or defensively? Of course I do. But then I, if I start talking about that, that would be me giving you our game plan, <laughs> which means I'm giving them our game plan. <laughs> So, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, you mentioned last week about playing better on the road than at home. With, with another data point to that, do you have a better understanding as to why that is? Yeah, we played better. I understand that completely. So, I, I have no idea. You don't not know nope. specifics why? Week to week. It's a week to week game. And then you mentioned after the game wanting to play your best football in November, and you, you hope that's what transpires going forward. But how do, how do you make sure you can carry that over for these next two weeks? Well, if I had the answer to that, I'd, everybody in America would be calling me right now. So play your best. You know, Get ready to go. Part of it's being healthy, which we're not. So beyond being healthy, I don't know. We need to go execute and play well. And with the guys you do have, just how I mean, do you it, feel? It's one of those deals where you can – you can want a lot of things. I wanted a pony for Christmas when I was a little kid. I didn't get one. <laughs> with the guys you do have, how do you how do you feel they are playing with just two weeks left in the regular season? Who, who's that again? Just with, you, obviously, you guys have a lot of guys banged up with injuries, but just with the guys you do have oh. available, how do you feel they are playing with two weeks left in the regular season? Well, I mean, we played pretty well last weekend, but – Again, it's the same thing. It's been the it's a broken record for 
six or seven weeks here now. I mean, we're we're it's we're playing a different lineup every week. That's that's difficult. It's hard to have any continuity. It's hard to have consistency, and and there's probably more of that this week. And then with, I don't know if you heard, but James Madison is leaving for the FBS, Sam Houston State also, and Jacksonville State. I was curious, just your opinion or your, your thoughts about that and just what it means for the FCS landscape going forward. Well, I think anybody that has a chance to better their outlook and their position should look at doing that. So good for them. And do you feel the Big Sky is still the right conference for Montana? I don't know. I'd have to think on that. It's probably an off-season discussion, not a NAU week discussion. But like I said, anybody that can improve their positioning, they should do it. That's it. That's it. Over and done with. All Thanks, right. Everybody. Maybe I'll get my pony this year.